Hello everybody, AOG Gaming here, back with another video on Mobile Legends Adventures. Um, my earbuds broke. Um, I've already explained that the uh, AirPods were old and they didn't connect very well. Um, but now, I also talked about how the battery that wasn't charging before, so I had to like smack it a bit. Yeah, the battery's finally dead, so the AirPod cheese doesn't charge anymore. Um, so I do apologize if we have worse audio quality um please do tell me if the music in the game is loud enough because i kind of tried to do some pre-recordings but again your face kind of changes from sorry the distance your face is from the phone kind of changes when you're just playing normally um so i do have to keep that in mind now that i'm playing the games so i do apologize Sad for me, too. Um, now I just can't listen to music on the go. So that sucks. Um, yeah. I'm just... I just don't... I'm sad now. <laughs> My AirPods are gone. Um, anyway, we got a lot of draws. And, um, well, we've just been grinding in the game. So... If we just go to the limited draw, we have 60 Eternal, eternal Summons, um, Eternal Scrolls, and the only reason we got those is because, one, we grinded the diamonds for the first 40, and then the last 20, um, well, I'm in a guild, and I'm in a decent guild, um, so when you do frontline, you get a lot of rewards, especially if you fight, um, Yeah, we're camp two, three, and four. We're green. I'll, that's all I know. Um, we're Eagle Squad. We got fourth place, which kind of sucks, but if you think about it, there were 12 other clans, so we at least made it in the top third of that bracket, um, which doesn't seem that great, but we did get a lot. Um, so yeah, I did get 70, well I got 10k actually, so you get this material, um, sorry, this currency called Glorious Laurels, um, which if you go to, well let's go to Tavern first, and then go to the, oh this is the wrong place, sorry, not Tavern, Dungeon, click Dungeon, go to Dungeon Shop, then from here, you can go down to Honor Shop. Sorry, Battle Supply. <laughs> Keep clicking the wrong thing. So this is where I got it. Um, as you can see, there are the um, Sacred Scroll Summons that you can turn into the Eternal Scrolls via the event, which is where I went here. And obviously, this is where you get all the Eternal Scrolls. Um, so I got five of them with, or four of them with diamonds. As you saw, there were nine last time we did a draw. Nine exchanges left. Now there's only five. And we did a few of these, so now we're able to get 60 scrolls. We're going to do those summons. Um, I don't know if I'm able to get the five of the sacred scrolls, because sacred scrolls are actually pretty difficult to get. You have to grind a decent amount, um, or you have to be in a guild. If you're in a guild and you can do Battlefront pretty well, which is what I did, um, I did rank 9 in my guild, but to be fair, this is my first time doing that. <laughs> So this is my first time actually realizing that, oh yeah, it's definitely doable, but you need to join a clan that is decent, um, or a guild that is decent. Now, that being said, my guild isn't the strongest, and it doesn't have to be, um, but we are Diamond 2, which is not very far. Um, we're definitely not in the top rankings, but as you can see, the top 100 guilds, well, Below, like, <clears throat> yeah, below the 50s, you have Diamond 1 guilds. So we're basically below the top 100 guilds um, in terms of power, which is fine by me. You know, most of them are going to be uh, the whale guilds. And yeah, as you can see, we got defeat reward because we weren't top three. So I got the 7,000, whatever, then the 2,000 here. <clears throat> oh, wait, we won? No, 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 we didn't because I had 10k. So, I, and I had some leftover as well. So, yeah, that's one way to get the Sacred Scrolls really easily. Um, you only get 20 of them, though. 
I think it's it might be no no it's twenty because I think this is the first time I actually went full and um I clicked the wrong thing again. I went I just like grinded as much as I could um in the battlefront also to help my guild because I was like well I just joined might as well show that I'm not dead weight um but, you know I am low in the guild uh in terms of like I just don't know how it works because <laughs> that isn't that was my first time doing it um but yeah this is where you can get a ton of materials and um yeah I kind of just splurged on those scrolls and uh also, this 24-hour supply thing. So, actually, I want to see first if I even have enough. Which I have 27k. I might have enough. Oh, we have 30. Yeah, I, I think we have enough. Uh, oh, we, we probably do. I'm not going to jinx it. <laughs> Though I probably just did. Uh, let's do some summons. Let's see if we get anything good. All right, we got a gourd. I will take that. Get some common summons up in here. Um, yeah, I was also doing the um, whatever that's the the Bolas event. I call it Nico Bolas event because it reminds me of uh the Planeswalker and Magic the Gathering. You go to Track Miracle and you go to Celestial Abode. That literally just looks like Nico Bolas's Citadel. <laughs> um, of course they they did a new stuff so it's the celestial boat this is a cool thing that i didn't realize was part of the um game but again you can go to the cloud depot and again you can trade in sacred scrolls so i'm definitely going to be doing that once i get 100 um though for the most part i've been grinding this soul core because it's actually really useful yeah and they give you 10 for one and it's also used to upgrade my hero so really that's all i've been doing right now is Getting the soul core is the legendary mostly because that's what I need. Um, getting sacred scroll slash diamond so that I can get the eternal summons. And um, I mean, yeah, that's pretty much it. Although the rewards, like, yeah, I collect them. You just saw me open some materials. Yes, I got a super secret rare hero. I got an epic. That's really good. Do I care? Not really. Um, we are going to try and beat. Um... Oh, no, that one sold out. So which is this then? Okay, so I guess we have to beat 11-15. So we're going to try to beat 11-15. We have 17 days, so again, y'all are going to have to wait for that. Um, don't worry, in three minutes we'll do the draws. Again, like I said, I hate blue balling y'all, but I never said I was going to do it right at the beginning. I did say we are going to do draws. Um, yeah, just to get the extra copy of her, just so that when I do get another copy of her, I can uh, get her to 10 star and then solidify her as an actual character on my team. Um, I probably won't go for these sacreds. If I can, I will, but 15k is uh, it's kind of a lot. Uh, really, the 10k here is a lot as well because the way you're supposed to get all of that extra material, which you don't actually get um, in the normal... Uh, I think I went too far. Wait, wait. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so... For the normal Tinted Mirage, you don't get that much. You get 3,600, basically every chapter, or you get more as it goes on. Um, but yeah, basically that's 7k right there, plus another 3k, so that's around 10k, because this is 1,400 in total, These the 11-5 and 11-10 rewards. Um, the 10-15 and 11-15 rewards are around 7k. And I have around 1,600. So if you add the 1,600 to the 1,400 for 11-5 and 11-10, that's 3K. And you have at least 7K with these two rewards from 10-15 and 11-15. That should give me enough to get another copy of Nyad Raphaela. Yeah, uh, just updating you on what I'm doing. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I basically just bought the living crap out of this because... <laughs> Um, again, I'm going to try and upgrade my hero. Okay, so we're at 10 minutes. Let's do some draws. Um, so I was going to go for Ember Irithyll. But here's the thing, right? You can only use one Abyssal skill at the time. And it's really based on her. So you don't actually need her to be that high level in order to use it. It is 100% based on her. Um, and she stuns him, which is fine. Um, I wanted a character that's more AoE. 
So Achilles, Alice, and Eel Sylvan are more team support. Um, Achilles, Alice does damage equal to 100% of her attack to random enemy once all the other units have been healed. 100% of the team's max HP average is effectively triggered once. Yeah, I mean, she kind of does more damage, but I realized that if I want to do speed clears, Eel Sylvan is the way to go. Um, because right out of the bat, she's just going to increase your energy consumption. All you need is Nihide Raffaella. You don't need... Literally, her and Nihide Raffaella, like I said, were made to be basically inseparable. So, again, we're going to be summoning for Eel Sylvana. I know that may be a disappointment to some of y'all, but to be fair, we already have Amber Irithyll and Aquilus Alice, but we can't really use them to their max potential, which is fine, which is why, again, why I love that they made the fact that you can choose which hero you're going to summon for because... I have her at 7 star, so getting her to 9 star would be amazing. But again, we're probably only going to get a single copy, so let's see how this goes. And uh, yeah, I am automatically didn't get anything good. Yep, nothing good. Come on, just one copy of her. Okay, we got one copy. We got one copy. We got one copy. That's what we wanted. Everything else here is luck. So we have 3 more draws or 2 more draws. Okay, please, 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 please. Oh, okay. Never mind. Sadness. I think we ran out, didn't we? Oh, no, we didn't. We have one more. Okay, that's our last one. Fortunately, we didn't get anything good, so that sucks. Um, we got one Eel Sylvana. And uh, before we do all this fusion stuff, actually... Wait, 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 wait. No, no, we only have one emblem. Of her. Right, right, right. Oh, we got another Astaria Super. Okay, that's that's amazing. You have no idea how many times I've opened these five star fragments and gotten Astaria Sipra. Honestly, that's one of the main reasons why she's such high level right now. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Something happened, I think. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, I was right. All right, so this is the only time. Again, I've mentioned to this a lot of people, you want to fodderize the epic heroes. You don't want to fodderize an epic hero until you absolutely have to. Which again, if they're three stars, sometimes you may have to do that just to push your account a little bit further. But for the most part, you shouldn't do it because they're going to be useful later on. You're going to find some niche way to use them. And also, you're going to regret it when you're going to need that character, but you don't have that character. <laughs> so the only time you should fodderize is here where i need to fodderize her and this is why i say don't fodderize heroes especially early on because they try to do this thing where oh yeah go ahead and fodderize these two heroes to get this one a seven star but guess what those heroes you just fodderize you're probably not going to get them again <laughs> so it's just something to keep in mind um yeah i did not want to do that so let's go back there are yeah, so we can we can do this. Cause these are all secret rares and I don't care about them. They're these are all fodder, so you can do this. And then this. Okay, cool. Um and then there's still more. Don't know why it's yeah, it's just smart fuse. There we go. Quick fuse. All right, so now we can actually do stuff. Um, well, I guess we should start from the top, right? So we go here. Well, there's only one unit that matters. This is the only super secret rare we have. So we'll get him to seven star. Okay, so value at seven star. Nice. And this is why you should keep them. Um, okay, now we have... Well, we can only do one unit. Because I want to keep this extra copy of Explore. Because I know I'm going to need him eventually. Um, so actually we'll upgrade Saber. Because I don't use Saber. So again, only Secret Rares. You can check down down here. You know, SSR is not what you want to fodderize. It's SR. And then there we go. So I'll do another draw at the end. Um, I'm going to try and like collect... Every single draw I can, so I probably won't do another video till the very end. Um, and if I can get 10 draws, that'll be amazing. Um, and then hopefully, yeah, get another copy of the hero, because fortunately I was not able to get 
two copies. So that's the that's the sad part. You get one copy, it doesn't really matter. It's only when you get the second copy where it matters. Because I could have had a eight star Eo Silvana, but sadness. Anyway, thank you everybody for watching. Um, that's all I really wanted to show you. My account, how it's going. All right, all right. So another thing I need to mention first before I leave. I did upgrade Freya's um, soul vessel to level 20. So now she can stun. Very, very nice. Um, I think I should get her to level 30 because then she's going to basically be another Eo Silvana. Where she doesn't die, she gains a shield, and then she turns that into her HP. Um, yeah, we shall have to see about that. Can I just... All right, I activated her hammer. That's true. I'll just upgrade to level 10 because I don't have any use for these purple crystals right now. Like, I could save them up. But again, I have a four-star hero that I could just give them to, so... Yeah, why not? And I could also fodderize Hellkurt to Alice or some way or another form. But as you can see, we are at the point now where we are getting, uh, not four star, nine stars. I keep saying four star. Nine stars and eight stars, which is nine stars is where you want your heroes because they unlock their soul vessel. So at that point, they become really useful. Um, and you can use them pretty much in any content that requires them. But yeah, I think that uh, that's going to be it. There's not much else to talk about. My account, like, as I'll just show you all real quick. Like, I have basically every hero in the game. Just drinking some water, excuse me. Basically, every hero in the game. I do believe I have... Okay, so I'm missing two elemental. Four attack. And I'm not... Oh, I'm missing one um, Marshall. I don't count Bell, Eyes, or Hestia. Because, again, they're not available. So, it's not like I can collect them even if I wanted to. Um, yeah, so I have Clint's left there. For Light, I've collected every single hero. Yeah, well, because Light is the faction that I chose. Because um, you get... Again, like I said, you have to choose a faction. And why I said Light is the best one is because they have the most heroes. So, if you go to Miracle Summon... You get these quite often, and you have to pick a faction, and that's the only one you can draw from. And the thing is, going all around is fine, but you get less of specific things that you want. So you choose Light, and now that they release Night Raffaella, there's actually three. Three heroes that are hybrid. So it gives you that much higher of a chance to get a hybrid hero. And to be fair, you have two of the best hybrid heroes in here. You have Nide Raffaella, which I say is second. And then you have Astaria Cipra, which I say will be first. The reason I say those are first is because their support, um, and most of the um, hybrid heroes are support, but Astaria Cipra is at the top because um, she's light and dark. The only hero that is light and dark, so she can basically attack two of the strongest factions in the game. They're technically weaker than the Order and Chaos, but you still face a lot of light and dark. So it's really relevant. So she's still really strong against that. Um, and it's also the fact that she can just bring a whole other three units into the game, which is kind of ridiculous. It makes for some very interesting interactions, like I've shown you in some of my gameplay. Um, Nide Raffaella is the second one. And I'm. It, this is not a uh, a tier list, but she's the second one because she automatically allows for extra heal and shielding, not only provided by her but to all of your allies. So you automatically have another healer on the team; they're gonna perform that much better. You automatically have another shielder on the team; they're gonna perform that much better. So that is why she is very good. Um, and it's also the fact that uh, her ultimate is literally 200 points of energy. So, like, you could give her the, the what is it called? Um, Chamber of Verity, sorry. This thing, the Potion of Nature, which already gives her 120 
points of energy. So I don't have it on her, but if I did, she would basically uh, actually, you know what? Let's let's remove you and add you. Because I, I see I haven't even taken my own advice. Because um if you go to actually her reading on her Aria Resonator. Reduces the initial energy cost of Nide Raphael's ultimate by 48 points of energy. 400. Now that's just significant, right? That's basically half. What's the first upgrade she gets at level 10? Reduces the initial energy cost of Nide Raphael's ultimate by 800 points. There are so many characters in the game that can give you increased energy regen. And... Again, Potion of Nature is the thing that just exists, and they let you get it up to level 2 pretty easily. So you're going to get 120 points of energy as soon as the battle starts, plus whatever... Actually, yeah, let, let's test this out, right? right? So let's go into campaign real quick. I know I'm going off on a little tangent here, but I just want to see how fast. Alright, well, a little bit faster than before, but to be fair, she still needs to get 80 points of energy. Um, I do believe you get more energy if you get attacked. Um, they went after the wrong healer. You can go after... Uh, what's her name? Nana. But if you don't go after Nide Raffaella, you... This is the best part, though. Because if you have two healers, kind of doesn't matter if which healer they go after. Though Nana is the one you want to keep alive. Because she does revive people. <laughs> um, so yeah, I chose Light because of that. There's three heroes now. And, you know, there was only two before, but I'm still sticking to it. Um, if you go to Dark, the reason I mentioned Light and Dark is, again, because they're the strongest faction. Yes, we got one of them, and you do have Miracle Clara. This was actually the best one before, because, again, Mechalila is good, but she's not the best healer. Night Raphael is, is a lot better. Um, but as you can see, there's still two here. Um, and I think for all the other ones, there's only... Okay, there's two here. There's two in Elemental now, I believe. But Tech only has... Oh, no, there's three here. Okay, so Elemental is also a very good one. If you're going for damage, because um, Nimbus, Eudora, and I forgot her name already. Um, Mia, Arcus Mia. Um, are very good damage dealers and damage support. But again, they're damage dealers and damage support. Not the type of... They're still fighters. They're not the type of uh, characters you need as support. Um, and then for tech, I do believe there's only two. Yeah. So tech and dark are by far the worst. Um, same with Marshall. Because there's only two of them. Tech, dark, and Marshall, right? I'm just making sure. Okay, yeah. So those three are the worst factions. Because getting, again, getting hybrid heroes makes a big difference to your account. Um... So yeah, I would go for Elemental if you're going for damage, and I would go for Light if you're going to get support like Nide Raffaella or Astaria Cipra. And then for the Elemental, you can still get Nide Raffaella, but you can also get Arcus Mia and Nimbus Eudora. Right, now I'm going to actually end the video. As always, thank you everybody for watching. AOG Gaming here. If you're enjoying the content, please like and subscribe. Really shows your support. Helps me out, keeps you up to date on my content. Um... 125 subscribers last time I checked, so y'all are amazing. Keep going. Yeah. Um, before I leave, though, somebody asked me what you do on a day-to-day -day basis on the game. It's very different. So at the beginning, you're just going to be mostly drawing to get specific heroes so that you can start pouring all of your resources into that hero. However, I will say, this game is very forgiving, where you can go to the Holy Sanctuary and upgrade heroes that you're not using, and also, in the Dismantling Shrine, you can transfer the levels. So if you have a hero that you're like, all right, well, I have her at 10 star. I only have this hero at 9, or sorry, a 9 star. And I want to use her, but I don't want to waste any more resources. Well, you can just do a level transfer. Or you could reset the hero, literally get everything returned, and then just upgrade the hero that you want to upgrade. Like, it's really that simple. So this... Is probably one of the best systems that they have for basically changing over it helped me early game from you know changing all my levels and stats and resources i poured into landslot into other heroes because 
Lancelot was a good damage dealer at the beginning, and he kind of speed cleared stuff, but he drops off really fast because he is a marshal. Anyway, thank you everybody for watching, and I'll see y'all later.